Hey everybody, and welcome into episode 10 of the Quarantine Diaries Double Digits. I'm about to run out of fingers, so I don't know how I'm gonna keep track of how many episodes we're go we've gone through, but anyways, thank you so much for joining us. I really can't believe we've been doing this for 10 weeks already, uh, but I hope that you are enjoying it as much as I am. And so, I know that when we started this, I wanted people to feel like it was helping them stay connected and still get to know people better during this time. And today's episode might do that better than any other episode we've done because last week's episode, I said that the prompt for this week's episode was Throwback Thursday. And so I had tons of people send in uh, pictures and videos from the past. Um, and so I'm excited to walk through those with you today and I hope that you are as well. Uh, once again, I'm glad you're here. Let's go ahead and get into it. We have a lot to get to. So first up, do you know who this man is? Now, does he look familiar to you? Okay, think about it, think about it. If it, if you thought it looked like John Berryman, you're not entirely wrong because this is his great grandfather. So you are entirely wrong in the fact that you thought it was him, but actually um, he is related. So they do bear a resemblance. So next up we have a baby version of Kamiko. Okay, so she ends up with this, who is the young boy version of John. Who, who would have saw that coming? I mean, look, look at these guys. Like, they look so different now. Um, so these two met and they took this picture together. And then a while later, Meg came along. So here she is, still in the womb. And here she is as a baby. Look at you, Meg. Anybody knows who came after Meg? Bo. So here's Bo. And here's Baby Bo. Okay, and this is from last year uh, when they went to Mother's Day Out. So thank you so much, Berryman's, for sending that in. I know that this has been fun for me to go through. Thank you. Um, and we will keep it rolling here. So next up, we have a tour through the past with Curtis. Hey, guys, it's Curtis. And here is my Throwback Thursday for the Quarantine Diaries. We're going to span eight generations and cover nearly two centuries. All right, there's my granddaughter, just born eight years ago. Here's my children, my girls, the twins, my beautiful wife carrying the twins, and my first church directory photo, Curtis Jean and Katie. And then here we are at our wedding. Curtis and Jean dating, 1988. And the two beautiful women that I fell in love with, Jean and Katie. Now Jean, as a little girl, was a beauty then as well. There she is as an infant with her parents and Jean's parents on their wedding day, Bobby and Kizzy. Here's Kizzy as a child. Seven years old, I think. Kizzy's parents. Mary's parents. Jean's great-grandparents. And then Jean's great-great-grandparents, the Fowler family. Circling back to me, before Jean and I dated, I served in the Marine Corps, 1983 to 1987. And then before that, Jean and I dated for a little while in high school. This would be 1981. My father in 1977. My mom and dad, 1964, that's me in my dad's lap. My dad's parents, Clarence and Kathleen. Kathleen's dad, Christopher, my great-grandfather. And then Christopher's parents, Nelson and Fanny. Nelson born in 1850. Circling back to my mom real quickly, this is her parents, William and Hilda. And then this is Hilda as a child. And Hilda's mom, Mary, 
and Mary's grandfather, Jacob. And then circling again back to my mom and her parents, William is her dad. And this is William in this picture and his parents and his mom, Addie, is one of the girls in, the, in this picture. And her dad, Jacob, is one of the guys in this picture. And Jacob's dad, Jonathan, born in 1832. Thank you for sharing all that. 1832, born in 1832. If he was alive today, he would be 188 years old. That's crazy, okay? That is absolutely crazy. So uh, next up, let's play some Guess That Couple. Okay, so here is the first person. Okay, get a good look at him. Get a good look at him. Um, and here is the other person. Now, can you guess who this is? Who these young people are? It's Andy and Becky Borchers. Okay, so here's Andy with his parents. Here's them when they got married. And here's them looking young and free. Wow. And you probably know now that they look like this, and I believe that this picture was taken in Tahiti. So I'm sure that was super fun. Um, wow, I'm just having a blast pulling through these right now. Uh, and here is a picture of Andy in Saudi Arabia. So, good job, Borchers. Thank you for sending those in. Awesome pictures. Okay, let's look at some baby pictures. I want you to think once again about who this is. This is so fun. This is so fun for me. Okay, so... Let's look at this sweet little girl. Aww. Do people still take pictures of their babies like this? I don't know. Do you think that you might know who this girl is? Think about it. I'm gonna give you a few seconds. Think about it so that I don't just get to it and you're like, oh, I was gonna do Okay. Are you ready? You know who it is? It's Madeline. Here she is at Disney World with her Minnie Mouse ears. I almost said Mickey Mouse ears, but they're Minnie Mouse ears. That's what I've been told. So, um, and here is middle school Madeline, the middle school version of Madeline, and now she talks to middle schoolers. So it's kind of like, huh? She was in middle school, that's like, okay. And, and here she is holding some babies. So thank you for sharing that, Madeline. Super duper appreciate it. Now, let's get back and do some guess that couple. Okay, here's a little girl, okay? And here's a little boy, all right? If you haven't gotten it yet, here's that little girl, a little bit older. Have you figured it out yet? Okay, this is Paul and Marsha. Paul and Marsha. So uh, here's them on their wedding day, and here's them with Paul. He's dressed up in his military garb. Paul, where was that outfit when we did dress up last week, man? Like we, that would have been so cool. Um, and here they are as parents having a really, really fun time. Thank you, Paul and Marsha, for sending those in this week. Okay, next up, who do you think that this little drummer girl is? It's Eva. Here she is in black and white. So you know that she's very old and this is a very old picture. So I'm, I'm impressed with that. Um, here she is popping a squat in a driveway. Um, I love the thing that she's got on her head in this one, the, that red thing. It's just, it's really cute and fun. Uh, this is Eva at school, which I know Eva, you're missing school right now, but hang in there. Just look at old pictures of being in school and maybe that will make you feel good. Um, and here is Eva again. Um, so, thank you, Eva, for sending those in. Great job this week. All right, so we have a college ID from Charles Bledsoe right here. So, there he is. Now, you might think he looks a little bit like Campbell. I think he looks like Campbell. And I was just like, I don't know if they look that, they look a lot alike. And it's funny because Campbell is starting college soon. So we're excited for you, Campbell. Good job, Mr. Bledsoe. Thank you for sending that in. All right, 
Who is this little girl? Can you guess who it is? How about now? Okay, you probably can now. It's Laura Denning. So here she is at the bottom right in this one. So here she is again. Now she hit all of the hairstyles. We're gonna go through them and she hit every hairstyle. So she's got this one. Here's another different hairstyle. And then we've got like the long straight that she's got going here. Then we've got big curls. Then we've got tight curls. And right here, this is the Laura that we all know. This is Party Laura. This is Party Laura right here. So thank you, Laura. I think this is your first time uh, sending in anything for the Quarantine Diaries. You did a great job um, and everyone got to have a ton of fun because of you. So thank you for sending that in. Awesome job. Um, all right. So here we have a picture of Josh and also Whitson on their wedding day. Now, it turns out that their 20th wedding anniversary, the day that this picture was taken, was actually yesterday, Wednesday. So congratulations, happy anniversary, Josh and Ulsa. I can't believe you guys have been married 20 years. I can't believe you're that old. So, I mean, I mean that in a good way, like you are young and vibrant. Um, and so uh, here is a little version of their son, Isaac riding a horse. He's got that John Deere cap on. So great job, looking good, Isaac. And Noah here found an Easter egg. So great job. Thank you so much, Whitsons, for sending those in. Now, we only have one more submission left. And it is from a New Garden staff member, okay? A New Garden staff member from a time when they were on the news, let's hope it was for good reasons. Check this out. It is a unique twist to an old backyard favorite. Yeah, Wiffle Bowl, as you've never <laughs> seen it in the Just wide the world of sports. the name of it sport. cracks me up. Yeah, Wiffle Bowl. I, I remember when I was a kid, they had those long, thin plastic oh, yeah. bats. We put the, the paper plates down as bases. Uh huh. A lot those more sophisticated. Mm -hmm. Nine years ago, a game called Campbell Ball was born. It's a lot like Wiffle Ball with some major stadium upgrades. The best thing is everyone's a winner at the end of this game. It doesn't take long to see that this isn't just another day on the diamond. The national anthem playing over loudspeakers at one of the coolest backyard ballparks you'll ever see. I believe in if you build it, they will come. And uh, that's kind of where we started it because Field of Dreams is one of my favorite movies. Kelly's also trying to build the human spirit. And what the Lord said to his people, Israel, when they thought they had no hope. These gatherings twice a week don't get started without a message from the Bible. One reason Brian Henson doesn't mind having this field out his back window. I don't have to worry about that. There's no drinking going on. It's just good, clean fun out here. The turnout proves just how fun it is. What started with four players nine years ago now sometimes has as many as 14 per side. I think it's uh, just the friendships and just being able to come out here and forget about everything else, forget about school and work and uh, any, any stressful things that are going on in your life and just put it all behind and, and just play ball. But Jeff didn't get to play too much ball this night. Let's give it up for Jeff Cato Polk. His induction into the Campbell Ball Hall of Fame, followed by an early exit. <laughs> That's the tradition. But the game did go on and it will continue to, as long as nobody suggests switching from wiffle ball to baseball. Wiffle ball is, is especially important because you can't hit the ball all that far. <laughs> but we just enjoyed having, having a ball that, that wouldn't hurt you if it hits you in the face. <laughs> Indeed, that is never good. Kelly and his crew obviously having a ball out in Cookville, and we thank them for letting us know about the story. If you want to. Wow, Jeff, please bring back the 2004 hairstyle. The world needs it. All right, so with that being our last submission for this week, I bet you're wondering what next week's prompt is going to be. And um, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit parched. So you're probably wondering what it is. That's good water. It's really good water right there. So anyways, 
um, next week's prompt. Oh wait, I, I meant to tell you. Um, join us this Sunday uh, at newgarden.church backslash online at 10 a.m. so that you can join us for our online worship gathering. It's going to be awesome. Oh, right, right, right. I'm supposed to be telling you what next week's prompt is. So next week's prompt is show us your hidden talent. So every single person, everyone watching this in any country, in any planet ever has obvious talents. But what you don't know about everyone is that everyone also has hidden talents. That's right, you have a hidden talent that we need to know about. And so this week, I want you to send in a hidden talent that you have. So um, I've actually prepared a video for you because I wanted to show you my hidden talent. Okay, everybody, so I came out in the rain to show you my hidden talent. Okay, so uh, I'm actually really, really, really good at drinking water. Okay, I know that sounds like not impressive, but I wanted to show you today that it actually kind of is. So for starters, I will drink water using only one hand. Delicious. Okay, I'm staying hydrated. Now, I'm gonna drink this water using only one hand and my eyes closed. Man, that's good. Good stuff. All right, next up, I'm going to do something very impressive. I'm going to drink water, okay? I'm gonna drink it with my eyes closed and without using any hands, all right? So let's see. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> oh, delicious. Now I know that you're probably thinking, what was that? That was not a talent. But that's what I'm saying, is that literally pretty much anything can be considered a hidden talent. Maybe you tell some great jokes, maybe you do impressions, maybe you just think you can fit a whole lot of marshmallows in your mouth. Now you're like, Michael, that comes up like every episode. Yes, I want someone to send me a video seeing how many marshmallows they can fit in their mouth. Why? Because it would be awesome. So maybe that is your hidden talent. I have a whole list of things. Uh, maybe you can do trick shots. Um, maybe you can keep things hidden in your nose, okay? So there is literally no limit to things that can be considered hidden talents. So that's what I want you to send me for next week. I want you to show me your hidden talents. So if you want to send in a submission for next week, and you do, you can send me an email to michael at newgarden.church. Once again, that's michael at newgarden.church. Make sure and get that to me by Wednesday so I can get it into the show for next Thursday. I think we're gonna all love seeing each other's hidden talents. I know I've had a blast today getting to see all these people's old pictures and videos. It's been a blast. So thank you so, so much for tuning in today. I'm looking forward to seeing your hidden talents next week. And everyone have a great Memorial Day weekend. Bye, see you next time.